Hello guys, I'm SuffaceXT here, and today we're going to be enhancing the dual water armor. So I already uh, enhanced the ultimate armor, but I still want to show you guys the enhancement for the <clears throat> dual water armor, because I don't kind of know where the stats align compared to the other armors, but... Anyway, it's in the morning, so that's why my nose is a little stuffy, but let's um, equip the water armor here. So it's got 50... I would say 54.5k attack, 45.5k defense, and 1861 health for the normal knight. I mean, for the main knight. Let's equip this here. <clears throat> Need a drink. Oh my gosh. And then for the normal knight. Seems like it does have a lot of health. Um, so if I had to guess, it's probably going to be high attack, high health. But 54.5k attack, 45k uh, defense, and 1,709 health. So, pretty decent compared to a lot of the other um, armors, but we will see that at the end. So, let's enhance this bad boy here. I have a crap ton of armors because I just did the crappy chest openings, or the random chest openings. <clears throat> so we're going to use all this because I do need to craft more stuff and I don't have enough room. As you can see, 727 out of 20, or 720. So we're going to use all this to our advantage. And this armor is going to heavily be used for the raid that's going to be coming up, which is dual fire. Um, or the fire, I guess, month. I think that's what people usually say, fire month. <clears throat> this is going to be very nice. So we're going to enhance this real quick here. Might take quite a while, actually, but... Yep, I plan on uploading the um, war video tomorrow once I get a few more wars in. Um, so hopefully I can upload that for people. Um, there has been people that ask me how to do frenzies, how to do wars and raids. <clears throat> Especially with, apparently there's a new influx of people coming in to Android. Maybe people from uh, iOS, but that's what I've been seeing most <clears throat> of the time. But anyway... Let's see here. I will be right back just one hot second. <clears throat> okay, so now we are back. <clears throat> my gosh, my throat. Okay. But we're going to go back to fire. And we're going to enhance. Uh, we're actually going to keep that there. I want to enhance it, so. One, two, three, four. He's all done. And keep using more of them. <clears throat> So it changes forms at 50, or level 50, so we will wait until then. Keep using it here. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me how to do frenzies and like how to do wars and stuff, so I've been pulling up, um, pushing off that video for a very long time, and I kind of want to get it, not over with, but <clears throat> just get it out there. Um, I mean, also get it over with too, because I want it to be very thorough, and I don't want to be kind of half ass so... I just want to kind of do it for the community as well, so I think it'd be nice. So <clears throat> when people are trying to teach other people how to do wars and stuff, um, <clears throat> they can kind of there go transform into the second form. I didn't even see it until now, <clears throat> but yeah. So people can direct that video or just say, "Hey, if you want to know more about wars raids." Or anything that they can direct it to my channel and I'll have a video for it um, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if there's a video out there probably not updated for sure um, but and I'll show people how to use line and stuff as well because I feel like that's a important factor and then I'll be showing some people's names but I think I might block them out I might not we'll see <coughs> it'll just depend on how I do it so here, I'll have a document written for it, so I'll have kind of a layout, which would be nice. And rows, some of the older armors here, 62, there we go, I wonder how many epics we got. Minotaur's War Gear, I kind of want to enhance all these, yeah, I'm going to want to enhance, did I already do Mage Bane? Yeah, I can use Mage Bane. Use these here. 
But yeah, my next video might be, uh, I'm not sure, it might be, I'm, I don't think, I might make a line video, like, actually, mm, I'm, I don't think I will. The main reason is, line is gonna be in the, whatchamacallit, the war video, so I don't think I need to make a separate video for line. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's do tactical regalia. We have some others to enhance as well. Let's see, rock plate. No, we'll keep that. Do I already have raptors in base? Nope. So we're gonna go with air now. But yeah, I just thought that'd be nice to kind of do a raid video afterwards. Um, kind of how to do regular raids and blitz raids, and <clears throat> um, I might, I might do wars as well. But we'll, I mean, blitz wars, but. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I'll have to explain too much of it. Um, if I do do one. But yeah. Let's use water here. You know, I'm kind of curious if it, if I enhance it with water, if it'll have double water boost. But I don't think it does. Well, I'm just kind of curious if it does or not. Maybe I should ask one of my Knights and Dragons friends. Because um, they've been doing some math, some crazy coding and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but you do you type of thing. Okay, enhance with water now, since we got a bunch of fusion boosts for it. Why not? Okay, hopefully this armor isn't obsolete. Yeah, I hope it isn't as well. Um... It would suck if it was, but I don't think it's... Usually it's pretty good for a full, like, next season type of thing. So I'm not going to expect it to drop or lose its value type of thing. Okay. <clears throat> so it's got 56k attack, 46.5k defense, 1,709 health. So let's go on our, our main knight here and see what we get. So stats are pretty decent. Compared to some other armors, um, I think it's a lot stronger than all the, all, all the other armors, which just suits to be right. So, 56k attack, 46.5k defense. <clears throat> okay, so let's enhance the ring amulets now. Uh, oh, I already enhanced the ring amulets. So, the health is already kind of maxed out by itself. So, let's see here. <clears throat> so, since the health doesn't move around as much as I wanted, um, I don't think it's very strong in health. I thought it was going to go more up in health. That's why I thought it would be a lot stronger than all, all the other armors. Um, upgraded. Upgraded. So, now we can see it compared to the other armors. Of course, I don't want to compare it to the um, ultimate armor. Main reason is it's the elements that count for that one. <clears throat> but, compared to the other armors, it has lower attack than the fire and air dual armors. Um, but more defense than... But not as high defense as the earth. So this... The water armor is more of a... I would say a balance. Uh, probably high on attack. High on attack and defense, but not as much health. So, it's got better health than the fire armor, but not by a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't... I would say it's an okay armor. I'll be honest with you. I still prefer the health and defense over the attack, but... Some people have their preferences, and from what I heard, attack can be a lot. Um, as in, like, attack could be faster. So it depends on what you prefer, but I think theoretically attack is the best because of how uh, special regeneration is now. But <clears throat> I'll actually equip on this knight here. It's probably theoretically better than the other armors just because of its uh, late into the season type of thing. But let's see how it does. I think I'll probably destroy this person pretty quickly. But. <clears throat> well, yeah. I'm going to record a bunch of videos, get my documents ready, and all that stuff for the war. Look at the wiki 
Knights and Dragons wiki as well, because that's going to be actually pretty useful. I'll probably um, base a lot of my stuff off of that and give the resources. But that will be all for today. So thanks everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, so there was one last thing I forgot to mention. But <clears throat> the highest attack you can get with GM stats is about 63k attack, 52k defense, and 1,909 health. So this is the GM of Imperial Knights, and I just went to go check real quick because usually I like to check um, how strong uh, the armor is with GM stats, but these are the GM stats, super duper strong. Um, so it's actually a lot stronger than I thought, but like I said, a lot of the other, other armors are also strong if you're GM. But that'll be all. Peace.